In this video, I revisit the chain fishing method, one of the best shiny hunting methods introduced in Pokemon X and Y. The steps are pretty simple. Find a good spot to fish, preferably an isolated area with no openings, and then use your fishing rod to reel in the Pokemon and run away. Repeat this process until you get the shiny. Keep in mind that you can't move, and you can't close your game or your chain breaks. Your chain also breaks when you don't reel in the Pokemon, so a Pokemon with the suction cups ability or sticky hold will help immensely. With all this in mind, let me show you the shinies I got during my first week of chain fishing. YouTube streams are tough? What do you mean? Oh my god! 13! What? Yo, this method is OP! This method is OP! What? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god! Nah, nah, I'm sold. I'm sold on this method. It's so good. <laughs> shiny fish! We're at one now! One shiny fish! I'm you. Do your thing. Thunder wave. What the heck? Beautiful shiny. It's amazing. Does it have head smash? I'm scared. <laughs> Dang, it's tanky. What the heck? It has rock tomb. As long as it doesn't have head smash, we're good. Does it even learn head smash? Or am I confusing that with something else? Also, fun fact, in this game, you can only get one dive ball a day. Did you know that? So I have one dive ball. <laughs> you can't buy dive balls in any of the shops. You have to exchange it for a Pokeball from this one guy. It's weird. Buy one dive ball, go! One. We have two. There it is. Dude, shiny route captain 13! Oh my god. That's so sick. Okay. I'm leaning between two options, Pescado or Boomer. What do you guys think? We have Pescado, the shiny Relicanth. I'm gonna go Adamant. It's Rash, what? Oh my god, Man Eater, bro. My nicknames back then were insane. All right, we have Pescado, the Rash, shiny Relicanth for our first ever Chainfish shiny. There was official art with cat Pokemon and Trubbish was in it. So Trubbish is canonically a cat. What the heck? My mind is blown. No, 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 no. All right. We'll go till 80, and then call it a stream. Richard Lancer Cat. Oh, there it is! Yes! 80! What the heck? The final encounter of the stream, Shiny Goldeen! Oh my god, finally! It was worth it! It was worth staying! Holy crap, we did it! Finally, it happened! Wow! I called it too, I was gonna say, let's just go to 80 and call it a stream. Shiny Goldeen chat. Let's go. We got two shinies today. Shout out to the believers. We are up good. Here we go. That's one shake. That's two. And three. There it is. Oh my god. Shiny Goldeen. We did it. Let's freaking go. Shiny Fish count is now at two. I'm gonna guess modest. I'm with the modest gang today. Here's our Piscato, the shiny relic we caught earlier. And. We got a careful, shiny Goldeen. Ooh, there's a shiny. Let's go. Shiny fish number three is shiny Poliwhirl. Look at that. So, as you can see, my number is at 208. And it's not the entire chain, all right? I, I failed a couple of times because I'm kind of tired and I was reeling it in quite slow. So I failed a couple of chains. But, I believe this is close to like 40-ish on this current chain. Not too bad. I was looking for Basculin, not gonna lie. Either Basculin or that Super Red Dratini. But Poliwhirl, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, let's go ahead and catch this. Damn, I'm awake now. I was getting kind of sleepy, but this woke me up. Dude, chain fishing is so broken. <laughs> Uh-oh, it has Belly Drum? Alright, none of this tomfoolery, alright? None of this Belly Drum tomfoolery. Do I have a good ball for it? Dude, why? How come in this game you can only get one dive ball a day? I find that so whack. But it's okay. Because we have net balls. So, here we go. Break catch? Break catch. There we go. Tiny Poliwhirl in a net ball. Fantastic. And I have a name. It's kind of simple and straight to the point, but I think it's nice. All right, so let's take a look at our Whirly. I'm going to guess Modest. Here we go. Oh, it's serious and it's holding a King's Rock. That's sick. 
All right, this is shiny fish number three. Let me go ahead and update it. All right, we have a scatter bug over here and our shiny Poliwhirl. Beautiful baby blue shiny. Fantastic. I will see you guys for the next shiny. Yo, that was fast. <laughs> wow, exactly at 20. 20 real ins for shiny love disc. Holy crap. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> it is Valentine's Day, and here I am hunting for a shiny love disc. How fitting. Anyways, this is shiny fish number three. So let's go ahead and thunder rave it. How have I not hunted a love disc before? Just noticed. But yeah, it has a nice shiny, I will say. 20 reelins! That was so fast! And I did not break my chain, which I'm surprised about. Because I usually break the chain. I'm not gonna lie. This, um... While this method is broken, it requires some level of reaction time. So, you need some reaction time. The using the sound definitely helps. Probably gonna catch us in a luxury ball. Let's see if I have one. I do. Yo, luxury ball. I think that's a crit catch. Yeah, it is. Bam. Tiny love disc. Call on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all the couples out there. When is it my turn, Sag? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna name it Valentine's. Okay, here we are in the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be Hardy Nature. And it's calm. We have a calm, shiny love disc. Look at that. This is shiny fish number four. We're gonna add it to our pile with Pescado, Cleo, Whirly, and now Valentine. Fantastic. Let's go see it in battle real quick. All right, we have a regular Doduo and our shiny love disc. Nice and gold shiny. Fantastic. I will see you guys for the next shiny. Hey, let's go. There it is. <laughs> shiny Alomomola on Valentine's Day. Oh my god, after 49 reelins. Also, I didn't break my chain a single time. I'm getting better. I'm getting way better at this whole reaction time chain fishing thing. And this Alomomola, I have not hunted yet in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so... I only thought it was fitting to hunt both Love Disc and Alomomola during Valentine's Day. Also, can you guys say Alomomola 10 times fast? Alomomola... I can't. <laughs> what? It has hydration. Bruh. Alright, false type it down. Hopefully it doesn't have a self-damaging move. Alright, there we go. It's 1 HP. And I think I have some heal balls that I can use. Yep, I have 10 heal balls. Come on, stay in. Can we get a shake? We got one. There's two. And there's our third. Wow. Come on now. Come on. Why you do this to me? Alright, let's try again. Okay. We got one shake. We got two. And a third. So just stay in. Wow, how are you gonna bait me twice? What? Come on, I have eight left. Oh, I heard quick catch. Oh my god. It's that easy. Let's go. Shiny Aluma Lakot. And this is shiny fish number five. We're gonna try to get as many shiny fish as possible in this video. Alright. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be bold. So we shall see. It is, in fact, it's careful. Okay. So we have a careful, shiny Alomola. I also named it Kogyoku. A shout out to you if you watched Magi before the anime. One of my favorites back then. So and there we have it. We caught both shiny Alomola and shiny Love Disc using this paint fishing method, which, bro, this method is so fun. So happy I started to get into it. I'm only 10 years late, but better late than never. Anyways, let's go check it out in battle. All right, we have a bundle bee here and our shiny Alomomola. Nice. Great shiny. I will see you guys for the next shiny fish. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Shiny scrub in 27. Wow, that was so fast. Bro, this... 
This method is so broken. It's so good. I keep saying it, but oh my god. Guys, if you haven't yet, please do this method. If you have Pokemon X and Y or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and you need some shiny water types, please use this method. It's so good. This method would be by far and away the best method ever introduced if it wasn't limited towards, you know, water Pokemon. If you could do this method for every single Pokemon out there, in the, whether it be in the grass or anywhere else, this would by far break the game. Oh my god, Poison Point, are you serious? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Thank God! Thank God Scrub was poison type because, oh my God, I didn't take that into account. Dude, my Mew has synchronized. If it was any other Pokemon besides Scrub, if it was any other water type without the poison typing to their name, they would have died there. That's so crazy. Okay, I'm gonna catch it in probably... Let's go Netball. We ain't playing games around here. Okay. There's one Shake. There's two. And a third. GG's. Shiny scroll up caught. Fantastic. Now I do own the shiny Dragalge for my dragon video. But shiny scroll up I never hunted before, so brand new shiny for me. And this is gonna be shiny fish number six. Okay, let's go check it out. I'm gonna guess that the scroll up is modest. Okay, so we got a quiet scroll up, which isn't too bad, I believe because the speed stat on it is pretty bad. But yeah, we have a shiny Skrulp. I named her Akame. Fantastic. Let's go check her out in battle. All right, we have a regular Electric and our shiny Skrulp. All right, well, I will see you guys for the next shiny fish. Oh my God. We got shiny scroll up at 106 reelins. Bro, I was going for a shelter. This is our second shiny scroll up, which uh, I can't be too upset about. It's a shiny. But damn, I really want a shelter. Look at shelter. Amazing shiny. Good thing is that I can get shelter in Scarlet and Violet. But I thought it'd be cool to find one using the chain fishing method. What is that? It turned itself into a ground type, so I can't thunder wave it. Wow, that is actually Giga Brain. You know what? Well played, Scrub. Well played. All right, hopefully the first turn that ball still works. Oh, I heard a quick catch. Bam. Fantastic. Shiny Scrub number two. As well as this is our number seven shiny fish. Back in the Pokemon Center. I'm going to guess modest nature for this shiny Scrub number two. This is the original one, Akame. And we have Timid. We have a timid shiny scrub. Fantastic. I won't bore you guys with the showcase because we already did for our first one. So I will see you guys for the next shiny. Yo, there it is. Shiny Basculin. Oh, man. Let's go after 58 reelins. I broke my chain like three times, so I think the last time I broke it was around, I would say 43-ish, so about 10 reelins later, so a chain of 10, so not too bad. Bro, finally, this is the one I was looking for. Last time I got the Poliwhirl, I was getting a bit tilted because I kept breaking my chain. I kept reeling in too slow. It's so weird. I swear, sometimes it works properly and sometimes it doesn't register my AI. I'm not coping, by the way. It's not a skill issue. All right, it's a game bug. Surely. I feel like getting the shiny Dratini would, would have also been super cool. But let's be real, that's not happening. <laughs> Dratini spawn rate is way too low for this to happen. Alright, false swipe you down. Double edge, no! It has double edge, what am I doing? Uh, well... The bad thing about X and Y in 3DS games, you can't save it before the shiny. No, it has double edge. Okay, well, that's shiny fish number eight. I failed it. So hopefully I'm able to reclaim it. Bro, there's just no way I... I forgot it has double edge. All right. Well, I will see you guys for the reclaim. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get it again. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoop. Well, we got shiny poly world number two on our quest to reclaim this darn basculin. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I'll take it, I guess. 
This is one Poliworld closer to completing the entire line. There are four in the Poliwag family, so Poliwag, Poliworld, Politoed, and Poliwrath. And I believe I found two Poliwags in Scarlet and Violet, so these two should complete the family. So I can't be too mad. I'm false swiping again. Hopefully it doesn't have a self-damaging move. I don't think it had one last time. Oh yeah, I had Belly Drum. Oh, that is scary. All right, let's go ahead and throw a netball at it. Should be a guaranteed catch because it's one HP paralyzed. Oh, quick catch. Fantastic. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to guess Adam in nature for this shiny Poliwhirl. Let's go ahead and check. It is lonely. So what was the original nature? It was serious. So we had a serious shiny Poliwhirl for the first time around. And this one is lonely. Sweet. Well, I'm going to try to keep going for this Basculin. And uh, wait, wait, let me update the thingy. Here we go. Shiny Fish number nine of the video so far. All right, let's keep going. Yes. Yes. There it is, guys. The Shiny Basculin Reclaim. Thank God. Oh, I thought I was going to take forever to reclaim it. That's not too bad. 100 encounters later. Not too shabby. We got that one Poliwhirl before this, too. So, all right. Let's not make the same mistake and false swipe it down. <laughs> I have learned from my mistakes. We're good. I'm just going to Thunderwave it. And then, yo, chill. Chill, bro. It ain't that serious. I'm going to Thunderwave it. And then from there... We're just going to throw a bunch of Pokeballs. But yeah, the main reason why I wanted to hunt for Basculin is because I just didn't want to hunt it in Scarlet and Violet. I didn't want to deal with the annoying shading and the lighting too. So why not hunt it in this game where the odds are pretty good? I'm going to try a Luxury Ball. I have no Nest Balls apparently, which sucks. All right. No shakes, damn. Ooh, I could go Dusk too. Wait, Dusk would be nice, actually. This is black and green. Matches perfectly. One, two, three. Ah, oh, how are you gonna bait me? I just realized how good of a match Dust Ball is. Wow. The green, black, and orange? Damn. No, we have to catch in a Dust Ball. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. That's one shake. That's two. That's three. And there it is. Not too shabby. Let's go. All right. Let me think of a nickname for Basculin. I think I'm going to go with... Probably Scales. Okay, I'm going to guess Adamant Nature for this Basculin. Hopefully it's Adamant or Jolly. I'll take either. And it's going to be... Careful. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, we got Scales, the shiny Basculin, which is shiny fish number 10. All right, let's go check out Scales in action. We have a regular Pidgey and shiny Basculin. Look at that. Not the best shiny, but a shiny's a shiny, and I'll take it. And I'm glad I no longer have to hunt this thing anymore. So, I will see you guys for the next shiny. I was running out of variety in my Pokemon Y version, so I decided to switch to Omega Ruby and hunt some new shinies. Yes! Let's go! Shiny Whalmer at 163. Why did this one take extra long? Dude, let's go. This is my first shiny Whalmer. It looks so good. It's so good. Rest? Are you serious? Oh, it's full HP though. Joke's on you. <laughs> Get outplayed. All right, let me let me use a heal ball for it. I have heal balls, right? I have 200 heal balls. We're good. Pretty sure this is all from the Palkia hunt that I did. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting Palkia and a heal ball for sure. So I just bought like 200 of them. Oh no. Stay in, stay in, stay in. We got one shake. We got two. We got three. And there it is. Dang, that simple? Wow. Let's freaking go. Shiny Welmer, 163. That took quite a while, actually. But it's okay, it's worth it for this beautiful shiny. Look at that. And this is going to be Shiny Fish number 11. As for the nickname, I have no idea what I'm going to name it. Uh, I'm going... What about Puddles? Puddles is pretty cute, right? All right, Puddles it is. We got Puddles, the shiny Welmer. All right, let's go check out its nature. I'm going to guess Calm. We're gonna have a calm Whalmer. And it's gentle, okay. Gentle Shiny Whalmer, which marks our first ever Chainfish Pokemon in Omega Ruby. All right, peep this. We got a regular Whalmer and our Shiny Whalmer. 
Jeez, it looks so amazing. It's so good. Alright, I will see you guys for the next shiny. And what better way to end off this week's adventure than with the holy grail of shiny fish? No, not you Magikarp. Feebas. I finally managed to find the shiny Feebas after 215 encounters. Don't know why it took so long. In every game, I swear it was Scarlet and Violet at first and then now in this game, Omega Ruby. It took quite a long time. Honestly, not as bad as resetting for 8 hours for a Feebas outbreak. It was, that was actually miserable. But yeah, shiny Feebas. Let's go and Thunder Wave it. Not sure if it has a self-damaging move, but I'm going to play it safe. Yeah, beautiful shiny. It took so long. This is shiny fish number 12, I believe. And I'm going to use a heal ball on it. Come on, come on. Stay in. One, two, three. Wow. Just a little under two hours. And if I was really lucky, I would have gotten it in probably less than 20 minutes. But yeah, shiny Feebas. Fantastic. It's male. I think I'm going to go with you. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have a regular Feebas and our shiny Feebas right here. Beautiful. If you don't want to spend hours resetting for a Feebas outbreak in Scarlet and Violet's Teal Mask, which takes quite a while because I know eight hours is what it took me. Um, definitely hunt it via chain fishing method. You can get 100% encounter rates for Feebas under this bridge at Route 119, I believe. But yeah, during the daytime, Feebas always spawn here with a super rod. So very easy hunt. Let's go ahead and check the nature out. Okay, we're in the Pokemon Center. I'm going to guess bold. Let's see, it is naive. All right, we have a naive shiny Feebas. Fantastic, we caught two shinies from Omega Ruby so far. This method is once again coming through. Utilize it while you can. So yeah, I ended the week with 12 beautiful shiny fish. Most of them found under 20 to 30 minutes. If you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. It's free. Oh, and uh, like the video too. And just keep fishing. A special thank you to the members. If you want to be featured at the end of all my videos and have your very own Fuecoco badge, become a member today.